season one episode 13 of angel last episode we got a disturbing <laughs> a disturbing alarm we literally had an episode of alien insemination ai but not the right word wording for that system we got a demon who used the human fame obsessive sex obsessive men to spread his eggs to other women that they met in clubs these kids and these you know you know these well these kids these women thought they were having a one night stand potentially developing into a relationship only to find out that these men have inseminated them with semen that literally multiplies into a fetus within a few hours not even fetus fetuses as in plural gus's had literally a litter of kids like she was a fucking cat or if i should say dog whatever she had about 10 of these demon babies in her her and her two other friends who went with her to the club all had the same thing and somehow cordelia became the mother of this she became she became the literal mother of this demon birthing cult this parallel to literally the beginning of the episode where angel and wesley found these demon babies in this apartment next to the residence that they busted into cordelia ended up getting kind of like mesmerized not really like her it was the demons doing um to where she literally escaped wesley's um cordelia was able to escape wesley by easily knocking him out with a book i was shocked by thing that when it came to her being you know with the demon the demon was able to the baby and the demon especially was able to kind of make her have this motherly um motherly tension to it to the point where she said no one was going to harm her babies i'm surprised the hospital didn't call in army swats because her alien fluid her baby fluids were literally fucking acidic but we were able to get the demon the demon was the size of the fucking this fucking dorm literally this demon was frozen and hit off by cordelia that episode was very it was not the best <laughs> If anything, that episode felt like a season one episode of Buffy and I don't know, I feel like a season one episode, I mean, episode, season one episode of Buffy, but more demented. And y'all guys said in the recent video that I posted on YouTube about Angel that it's going to be, it's going to be as darker as Buffy, which I don't even know how the fuck that's possible. But I guess a sense, you know, from Buffy, I guess, I don't know, I just feel like with Buffy, people watch Buffy when they're like younger, most likely they grew up with Buffy four years in making compared to Angel, where they're already older now. So I guess no limitations now. Like how season four of Angel, there's more, I mean, eight season four of Buffy, there's more sex scenes and stuff like that. And Angel, there's clearly show that scene. Since these people are now adults, they're gonna go full blast compared to the first three seasons of Buffy where people's probably like teenagers, you know, you know, young adults, adults. But now y'all said it's gonna get crazy and I only can imagine we're never gonna peace. That's gonna be my biggest word after finishing Buffy and Angel is when will I ever know fucking peace? And that's the key word, never. But anyways, let's dive in. A party. At the last episode, I think the fuck not. Have we? Damn, Wesley out here. Hi, is he the best? Angel. Uh, this is so Your idea of hell. Actually, hell, you know about it. Damn, you're an ice cube? That girl, I saw you. Reach around my man one more time. Okay, Wesley. Angel, who did he? He fell. <laughs> I know he hot as shit. Oh, that's what I want. I mean, I, I would if I knew he did. But I don't. So I won't pass it on to anyone, will I? Angel is so hot doing nothing! Nothing! He's so fucking good! Oh! She about to play Angel out! Oh! We're about to get a dance! Angel! Shut the fuck up! Oh! No, 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 no. Oh! Okay. Okay. Thank you. Cause... I'm about to get the fuck ASAP. It goes. Thank you, Dennis, for your, for your um, contribution. And you open it? Now just be a bartender, Dennis. Dennis. 
don't open it. And what does he do? He opens his shit. This is this is why we can't have nice things. He's putting that beer down. Stump on it. What are you, five? What? Anyway. He He resorts. Thought I ordered the ground. Maybe you could crush the beans with your vampire strength. Damn, Just you could mush the bat. And he's gonna pop the bag. Don't, don't pop. Angel, don't do it. Uh, Laura? I, I got two modes with people. Bite and avoid. Hard to shift, plus I can't get too close. I mean... He's gonna throw you down on the living room floor and tear off all of your... Well, actually, Laura... I'll try harder. You try... Still, I mean, Ooh, Laura? Quiet. Best is my cool over the angel? I think the fuck not. Angel no, could literally. I'm on the chip on myself. Angel yeah, could literally. It was quite the swatter last night. Glad someone enjoyed I would, it. I would. I would. Enjoy... Hold me. Look, why don't we just. No, hold me. Oh, 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 Southwestern bag. I mean, yeah, more like Southwestern cooked. Here we are. You got fucking sauteed. Like, like, what the fuck was that? Damn, that's him. So it wasn't a dimension. It was something iced. Hilarious. Since the beginning of the episode was about ice and Wesley fucking busting move for ice cubes. Oh, bitch. That's that, cause once he had him white, that was not the fuck that's what I mean. Oh no, I presume. Close enough. Ooh. I don't do well near an open flame. I'm not a big talker, I usually let others carry the conversation. I am pretty good at putting these through heads though. Right, you are a torturer, um, dead. I am caught. Yeah, right, yeah. We clearly... I was sent by my people to stop it. That is my cause here. Stop, stop what? The bringer of chaos. Who? Men, you and your people wish to live. Stay me. away. Stay away. We don't even know who we're looking for. What the fuck are you talking about? Stay away. We don't know who we're looking for. We don't know the direction. We don't know the target. We don't even know the coordinates. We don't even know where the fuck this place that went. Was... Wesley, stop kissing butt. It's not like we get overtime. Oh, right. Wesley just got here. He's first day oh, here. Oh. Any of the similar feelings by incineration lately? See? Huh. Hmm. Uh, wait. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut up. But Tangel? But okay, but Tangel though? Bad Angel? Come on. So I'm still winning. Let me stop. <laughs> and it came with a letter Jericho Ice. The ice that was in the carrier box. Plus, that could be with the ice from the beginning of the episode. I didn't check the ice bag when she threw it at Angel. See? When I do watch. I can't even see that shit with how dark this fucking screen is. Oh, I knew it was a woman because it said she, she. Working for them, is that it? How much do they pay you to hunt us? I work for myself and I'm here because I'm looking for his killer. Hard to forget. <laughs> Problem? Yes. Oh shit, baby. Look at her. Look at her. Now I know for a fact that that sweater got stuck in that car door. Look how long it was. Not the flippy. Oh my god, I had a flip phone. I flip phone. We're sorry. <laughs> Is he? How many phones about to pull up? What the fuck? <laughs> Angel went about his phone. You're not supposed to be texting and driving, Angel. See? You must got a little car crash. There's a man following. Okay, she knows. Afraid. He may want to. What man? Where is he? Here he goes. Actually, listen. Oh, he took that coat off. He know. Oh, he. He's so smart, mom. <laughs> like, I would do anything. Oh, and she got the tatas out. That's the first thing I saw. As soon as that light turned up. French poet and critic Baudelaire, a friend of the artist now. Baudelaire. Interesting fellow. In his poem, Le Vampire, and some even speculated that the poem was about a real vampire. <laughs> yeah, you. You're my vampire. Oh, the flowers. And they need to consume half their body weight a day. Whoa. Damn, half their body weight. So, we're eating. looking for like, you're a vampire. 
among other things. Mm -hmm. Who's Tay? What does he want? I don't have time for this. If you didn't kill the guy in the ice company, who did? It's not your concern. You're not one of us. Well? I don't stick around anyway. It's right. This is not your concern. Oh, pal! Get that shit! You'll feel so much better after this. I take that not. I'm made. I was trying to help her escape from our homeland. If you hadn't If I hadn't helped you, you'd both be with him right now. Yeah. And he took this. They took it from pursuers. They want to take this from you. And sexual power. Uh, he even signals when we're aroused. What the that 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 heck? What? Got that desperate for females? females? Serve without questioning. Long. I thought I would die from the heat under my skin. Then I start to learn to control my power. Like last night when you burned me. Yeah. My promise to protect them. Mm. Tell them to stay out of my way. Well, I mean, what they want? What, you, what, what, what can you say? There's a demon outside. <laughs> Trying to burn my mom? Oh, they're quite rare. Named for Nancy Mitford, the old girl. Probably his name. Because of her love for. Right. It's not. They want, and don't you feel better now? They want submissive people so bad. Get the fuck out of here. You know, I wish you'd let me work on your mirth chakra. If he's trustworthy as you are, we'll go to him. He's good people. Then call him. You're still angel. sitting there? To be honest, I'm shocked. Read the way alone. I had to take a shower. What's up? What's what? up is, those creepy demons said that they found what they were looking for, so. and I they seem very interested. Can you rely on what's going to do that? Honestly? <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's the clumsiness for me. We're leaving in the morning. Not soon enough. What are you talking about? They're on their way. They'll be here. Now. That would be now. Help get the girls out. You go back out front. Yeah. Stall them as long as you can. He might, hey bro, I'm you heard you hit the shop, bro. Your four bitches on the forehead. <laughs> See? <laughs> oh. Okay. My, what a great. Alright, healthy. Surprising. Wesley, please. I have a feeling. You're pathetic, and I'm about to get your eyeballs fried. Right. No, but, uh, get your ass in the lock. Get your ass in the lock. Wait. Oh. Damn. Jura and the runaways are ours. No, they're not. Give them back, or the humans die. Okay, Wesley. I'm seeing you do what? You're kicking me, bitches. Her. Hold it. She done Hold left. Still. She done left my my kids. No. Oh, Lord, Jesus Christ. Unless you want to be your leader, if this enemy persists, our whole society crumbles. And if it persists on my turf, you're going to have another enemy. You don't understand our ways, human. We don't give no, a I fuck. Don't. And I'm not human. Mm. Is it? Now, if I were you, I'd grab the next portal out of here. Got it? And then I'm saying theme song, too. Theme song, too. Yeah, get, 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 get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out. Get out. Get coffee. I wish I had some coffee. Okay, See, I told you to bust that shit. <laughs> Sorry. I, I had a little mistake. It's good to know. And uh, you're not fired. I know. No, it wasn't your fault. And you know, I handled yourself very well. Right. You. Yeah. I'm a faithful servant, Angel. Like I said, in art. I mean. I'm glad. So then people will be hungry. She nearly got Cordelia and Wesley killed. I had no choice. Yes, you did. If you vow to protect the innocent Jared, it shouldn't matter which dimension they're from. Mm. She burning. Let's go. She burning. Yup. Is it an angel? You see that good bumps on his neck? <laughs> Wait a minute. 
if I'm wrong, just say I'm wrong. I'm not going to embarrass myself on YouTube, but I'm going to tell you right now. She said that it controls when to mate, when to have sex, like, you know, you know, when to, um, pretty much men can get control of their sexual passions and shit like that. Does that mean that when her angel was talking earlier this episode and he had to take a shower, he was horny? That she, she was heating up. She was heating up in the back of her neck. Every time she talks to him now, it gets the heat in the back of her neck. Huh? Because the other girl who got her neck, you know, that got it removed, she wasn't heated. But when she talks to Angel, she's heated. And in this last scene, I could see, like, the hair on his neck as if it was goop bumps. And then, like, it blurred a little bit, which means that her seat from that back was in that nose, okay? Maybe I'm just hallucinating, but that tension? Sadly, you know, Angel can't do nothing because he's going to become Angelus anyway. But that tension? That was probably the most, I've never saw a tension like that. I mean, I've seen a couple of ten, no. Like, I've seen some tension scenes before, yes. But that shit, illegal. That tension, fucking ridiculous. Like, I was, I was like, I was like, I don't want to seem like I'm dumb or anything. Like, say like, oh, well, maybe I'm just like, assuming that there's tension. But I rarely be looking at ships on these shows and be like, tension. Ghost of You See Me Do That with Bangle. Willow and Oz would obviously a good go. Willow and Tara. Xander. <clears throat> um, I didn't tend Tara. I mean, um, Xander and Ani was a kind of a surprise. But even Tara, I mean, Xander and, and Pata. I was like, hmm, this? I don't know. Like, I don't know. It was intense. Like, when they was talking in the, beginning of the, in the middle of the episode and it kept getting close, I thought they were going to kiss. Cause they kept spinning and she kept getting closer and that's when i was like if they gonna do what i think they're gonna do like i wouldn't mind it okay buffy got her boo riley ain't you gonna have a little boo on the side even though he can't do anything he really, he really gonna have the whole five seasons <laughs> i guess that one time with i guess that one episode with buffy was enough to fulfill his entire life dream as it should but <clears throat> that shit was sinful i'm looking it up i'm actually gonna look that shit up because i want to know what the fuck that mean? Let me look up Angel 113. Um <laughs> I need to know what it means. Okay, she. Season one written. It's written by Marta Noxon. Amazing. Yes. Demon. Uh-huh. And the thing is that like when it came to this episode, like the ice with Wesley was the ice that they needed. And this whole episode was about enslaved you no, know, these these demons trying to enslave women. And <clears throat> Angel not being able to talk to women. He was definitely doing right with my queen today. Now let me see. See, it says, Angel who found your eye attractive at first sight is now deeply arose by her nearness and he bends his head closer to her vulnerable neck. Resisting his own desires, he listens to her talk about what happened. Like that's when she demonstrated the, the neck piece. And then is if they remove the co the ko um is like removing their physical and sexual power um so she circles angel explains about old and tall and their control for raw power and maturing co and then she says that it helps by heat under skin with the ice and then she proceeds to demonstrate her power to roast them both that's when the spiraling was coming that's when i knew he was evolved and he had to take a shower. So I wasn't delusional. I wasn't delusional. Um, Angel was fighting on several levels for self-control, moves step away and points to the corpse in the ice factory. Yeah. And then it says her power flashes to the surface and they're almost irres um, irre irresistibly drawn to each other. Connection lethal to Angel. Wow. Telling it before she tells him to stay out of her way and escapes, leaving him rocked out, barely able to stand. <laughs> I told I, I, I already know but like for me I was like I don't want to be delusional like that's why I was like is it doing what I think it is but I might start doing this for now and when I'm done reaction I might just look at the summary and see how dumbly right it was okay let me go down mm-hmm do you think and is it, do you see anything about him taking that <laughs> anything about taking the shower um it just says he's emerging from his shower 
<laughs> okay, let's look at this. Let's look at the ending. Let's look at the ending. <laughs> I told y'all. The sexual tension and political tension thick between them. She looks at Angel then agrees to his term. She has a t clearly torn, um, clearly having found a desirable mate. And Angel grows even more breathless. <laughs> she turns around. She turns, over, she turns towards the door away from her object of her desire. As she walks away, Angel sees he's already and acceptably sensed her cold glory and hot raging desire at war with self-preservation angel stands desperately immobile until she's out of range <sighs> my good sis had angel hot heat sweating passion brewing anyways until next time <clears throat> That was my season one episode 13 8 reaction to Angel. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Angel reactions. My page channel will be in the description where you can find four extended reactions of Buffy, Angel, and Sailor Moon in the entirety. My Discord and Twitter will be linked so you can see me talk about future updates or talk to me about this hot ass episode. Until next time, make sure to be safe. Peace.